Good morning students, hope you are doing well. So we are back again with another previous year question that's related to pamphlet. Like the question was about the definition of pamphlet as per the norms of UNESCO. So the question was like, in the UNESCO definition, a pamphlet is an unbound publication that is not a periodical and contains. The answer to this question is no fewer than 5 and no more than 48 pages. Alright, we will briefly look into what's pamphlet and what all are things that we have to remember from competitive examination point of view. So before beginning this video, if you are one of those students who are preparing for UGC Net or GATE in English Literature, then you can simply check out our smart study material where we will provide you with the audio lectures, personal guidance and everything that is required for you to crack the competitive exam in English Literature. Check the link in the description below to know more about it. And now without any further ado, let's begin with this video. So before the age of newspapers, pamphlets were popular. You can say that pamphlets work the same way as the newspapers. In newspapers, we have different different opinions, we have different or arguments. Uh, the same way before newspapers, pamphlets were used. It has been said that ministers and councillors do not fight in the parliament but through pamphlets. Like if someone has to debate or to do some argument or even want to win the public opinion, public sympathy, they used to write the pamphlets and then destroy it throughout the city. According to UNESCO, pamphlet is non-periodical. That means there is no fixed date, no fixed month. Like we have magazine, India Today. Okay, so India Today comes every week. It's not the same as uh, in case of pamphlets. It's not uh, periodical, it's non-periodical. And according to UNESCO, pamphlet is at least five pages long and at maximum it has 48 pages. So that's the previous year question. UGC Net examination, pamphlet has at least five pages but not more than 48 pages another thing to remember here is that it is not unbiased okay so take an example that bjp government has launched a policy on farm bill okay so when you read an editorial in the hindu newspaper or the times of india you will find that columnist has talked both the aspects merits demerits cons and pros good and bad past and future uh, in the editorial of the hindu the times of india but in the case of pamphlets it is directly written to attack, to use, uh, to convince the public opinions, to protest against the same bill policy. Okay, so pamphlet has been used as a personal opinion rather than uh, if we compare it with the editorials of the newspapers. Newspapers are highly researched editorials, so the Hindu editorial is highly researched. But on the other hand, we have another, uh, you can say, pamphlets, it is not the same. Pamphlets have a long history, but it got popular in 16th, 17th and 18th century. In 19th century, it was replaced by newspapers and magazines. Even Henry VIII used to write the pamphlets. As you know that 16th century, a sort of movement began, okay, Protestantism. So Protestantism was the movement who came against the Catholics, the one who protest Catholics is known as Protestantism. Okay, so it was under the leadership of Martin Luther King. Okay, so Catholics uh, at that time and a lot of corruption was happening in the churches of Catholics. So Protestantism came against the Catholics. Okay, so Henry VIII wants to remarry, but the Catholic faith didn't allow him to remarry. So Henry VIII founded his own Church of England. It is also known as Anglican Church to justify his decision he used to write pamphlets and he changed he converted himself from catholic faith to protestant faith and after that uh, england has a long history where protestantism uh, was always there even in 1642 uh, the civil war civil war of 1642 uh, john milton used to write a lot of pamphlets at that time a lot of pamphlets caused that war of english civil war okay 1642 uh, that was caused by uh, by by the people who used to write a lot of pamphlets. John Milton also wrote a pamphlet, Aeropagitica, Liberty of Unlicensed Printing to the Parliament of England. It was a sort of speech written in the form of pamphlet and distributed in the form of pamphlet. Okay, so that is the work written by John Milton. And after that, in 1648, 1649, King Charles I was beheaded. So at that time, pamphlet played a big role in causing the English Civil War. All right, so make sure you are writing everything what I am talking in these videos, in these previous year question videos. All these have already been there in the previous year question. Also, let me know in the comment section below what you want me to create a video on. I will see you soon in the next video. That's it for this. Thank you.